This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Zach Lee, back bringing you guys some more daily NBA news and updates. We got a couple of things to talk about today, so let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. Lego. John Wall just threw some shade at all of the super teams that have formed this summer. Check out this Instagram post that he made. Ed Bradley Beal, I wonder who else is gonna team up next to try and win a ship this year. But who cares? Cause we all we got bro, DC or nothing, hashtag whiz game. Before I talk about this, it is worth mentioning that John Wall has already edited this post. He has changed the caption so it just says Ed Bradley Beal and hashtag whiz game. But I mean, we all saw before the damage had already been done. So if that's really how you feel about this John Wall, you should have just left it how it was. But hey, I mean, I have nothing but respect for John Wall. I say this a lot that the dude is an absolute beast. One of my favorite point guards in the NBA, no question about it. That being said though, this post sounded just a, a little bit salty because it's not like the Wizards didn't try to build their own super team this all season too. You heard it earlier in the summer, John Wall and Bradley Beal were trying to get the Wizards to trade for Paul George. So they did want to form a big three of their own. However, they struck out and it once again, it didn't happen this year or any other year. Matter of fact, when was the last time the Washington Wizards landed a big name free agent? Have the Washington Wizards ever landed a big name free agent? I, I don't think they have. That hurts, and now I can also see where his frustration is coming from. He sees all these other guys going to teams to form championship contenders, right? Meanwhile, the Wizards are still just sitting there. They're not a bad team, but not quite a championship caliber team either because they are still missing that one other guy to put them over the top to form a big three with John Wall and Bradley Beal. You saw how good they were last year. They were right up there with like Cleveland and Boston in terms of standing in the Eastern Conference. So if they were to have gotten Paul George or Carmelo Anthony or literally anyone else this summer, there would have been a strong case for Washington to land the number one seed and possibly be the biggest threat that LeBron James has had in the East in quite some time. And to have this happen to you every single year when you literally can't bring anyone in, it would be frustrating and I guess this post was just the result of John Wall's frustration. Dude wants to win. Definitely gonna bring y'all that championship. That's my ultimate goal. But they just can't get that last piece. So he feels it's just him and Bradley Beal against the world. Luckily for him though, DeMarcus Cousins will be a free agent next year. And there have already been plenty of talks about the possibility of DeMarcus Cousins going to the Washington Wizards this upcoming offseason. DeMarcus said that's something he would want to do. John Wall said he would love to have him there. So if they could ever get a big name free agent to go there, it would have to be DeMarcus Cousins. However, if next year comes around and DeMarcus Cousins doesn't sign with the Washington Wizards, I'm sorry but you're probably never gonna get anyone. I'm starting to think that LeBron James just never wanted Carmelo Anthony on the Cleveland Cavaliers. He just don't wanna play with Melo because according to Carmelo Anthony, both he and Paul George were supposed to have been traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers back during the NBA draft. Me and PG have a very close friendship. Actually, it was funny because me and PG was supposed to be in Cleveland on draft night. We were communicating about that. The deal was actually done and it got called off on draft night. So me and PG stay connected throughout the course of the season. The deal was done, he said. I imagine it would have been something like Kyrie Irving to the Knicks, Melo and Paul George to Cleveland, and then the Knicks would have sent the number eight draft pick in this year's draft to Indiana, something like that. But the trade was done and then it was called off. This has LeBron James fingerprints all over it. I know you guys remember that earlier this summer there was supposed to be another trade that was supposedly done too. That was going to send Paul George and Eric Bledsoe to the Cleveland Cavaliers in a three team trade with the Pacers and the Phoenix Sun. However, the Cavs went to LeBron, asked him if they did that trade, they could get any type of commitment that he would resign with them after the season. He said no, so they called off the trade. I'm guessing that's what happened here, or maybe, maybe actually this was part of the same trade. Maybe the New York Knicks were also involved in that trade. So you would have had Paul George, Eric Bledsoe, and Carmelo Anthony headed to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that would have given the Cleveland Cavaliers a starting lineup of Eric Bledsoe, Paul George, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, 
and Tristan Toms. I'm assuming both Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love would have had to have betrayed to make things work. So Kyrie Irving to Phoenix, Kevin Love to New York, and then I don't know the exact details, but that very well could have happened. And that team sounds extremely dangerous. And then you add in the fact that the Cavs still would have gotten Derrick Rose and Dwayne Wade too. You would have had Derrick Rose, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, Eric Bledsoe on the same team? That lineup sounds freaking disgusting. Hell no. It would be an absolute disaster. Something is one of the worst ideas I've heard. So disgusting that it makes me kind of upset that it didn't happen. Look, the roster the Cavs have now, it's cool and all. It's going to be interesting to see how it works out. And it is cool that we got to see Paul George and Carmelo Anthony team up with Russell Westbrook on the Thunder, but... You're telling me that we could have seen a team of Eric Bledsoe, Paul Doris, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Derrick Rose, Dwayne Wade? We missed out on that. That's crazy. It has to be all LeBron, man. His non-commitment to the Cavs is why the trade didn't go through. If I were Cleveland, I still would have pulled the trigger on it because come summertime, you tell LeBron James, look at this team behind you. You got all this talent. You're gonna leave this to go somewhere else? Where else are you gonna go? Where else has a better roster than this right now? Tell me. So it is just disappointing that it didn't happen, but like I said, at least now we get to see Paul George and Carmelo Anthony with Russell Westbrook, so you, you win some, you lose some. Take the good with the bad. I've never heard anyone compare that Frank kid, Frank Nielakina, to a modern NBA player yet. Like you hear Lonzo Ball getting compared to Jason Kidd. You hear Jason Tatum get compared to Paul Pierce. You hear the Aaron Fox get compared to John Wall. But I've never heard anyone say that Frank kid reminds me of that NBA player or he plays like that other NBA player. Nothing like that until yesterday when he got compared to Kyrie Irving. That, that, I, that, that is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. And he was compared to Kyrie Irving by his new mentor on the New York Knicks, Ramon Sessions. Who was he? Ramon Sessions. Uh, he was drafted in 07 by the Milwaukee Bucks and has bounced around to just about half of the teams in the NBA already. As a backup point guard for a team like Milwaukee, Cleveland, LA, Charlotte, Milwaukee again, Charlotte again, Sacramento, Washington, and then Charlotte again last year, and now he will do the same thing for the New York Knicks this year. And the Knicks supposedly signed him to a one-year deal to be a mentor to that Frank kid, Frank Nielakina. According to Ramon's session, that Frank kid got a little bit of Uncle Drew in him. It's funny, it's one of those things. I played with Johnny when he was younger, Kyrie when he was young. He's got a lot of Kyrie tendencies. Not the most athletic guy, but can handle the ball in tight spots. It's still early on, but he definitely gives me that Kyrie feel when Kyrie was a rookie. So I guess he means handling wise. He reminds him of Kyrie Irving handling wise. Maybe not the scoring aspect because Frank Nielakina isn't coming into the league seen as a scorer, more of a playmaker and then also not on the defensive end either since Frank Nielakina is seen as being a pretty good defender. Meanwhile, Kyrie Irving is Kyrie Irving on the defensive end. But that's cool to hear, you know, Kyrie Irving is one of those players where you could just watch him dribble for hours, maybe even just spend a whole day just watching the dude dribble a basketball. He doesn't have to take a shot or anything. You're just in amazement by his freaking insane handles. So if that Frank kid really does have Kyrie-like handles, even if he never becomes the best scorer, if he can just dribble the ball anywhere near how Kyrie Irving dribbles the ball and make plays and plays defense, then that sounds like a future all-star point guard to me. For those of you doubting all of this saying, well, that just coming from Ramon Session. I don't care, no matter what he's saying. Who is he? It is worth noting that Ramon Sessions was also the mentor to Kyrie Irving when he was a rookie for Cleveland. So he might have just a little bit of an idea of what he's talking about here. But that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. Is John Wall salty? Do you guys wish that that mellow Paul George, Eric Bledsoe trade to Cleveland went down. And do you think Frank Nielakina can have the handles of Kyrie Irving? Let me know down in the comment section below, but that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more daily NBA videos. And until tomorrow, keep getting the bucks, TMSTC, and I'm out of here. Peace.